So today I'm going to talk about how to take care of your neck. It is uh, an area where a lot of individuals don't take the time in looking after this area. So how do we take care of the skin in this area? Now, before I go into what to do, I would like to talk about all the things you should not do so you can preserve your neck. Now, this area here is where you see the aging of a man or a woman. So there's some things that you need to do. So one of the things that a lot of people do and they're not aware of is uh, using their phone and have it on the side like this. By doing this, you're going to cause not only wrinkles on your neck, but also on your face. So that is one of the things what not to do. Now, we are an age of computers. So for example, right now, I have my laptop, I have my iPad here, I have my desktop going on all the, at the same time. So we are at the computer age. So try to have your computer up the level, eye level is really important. Now, this generation, we are not reading as much, but uh, we are reading on our tablets. So try to have your book or your tablet at the eye level. It is more difficult to read that way, but if you are always like this, that will also cause a lot of additional wrinkles because the more you put, more stress you put onto the skin, and I will be uh, doing a tutorial on uh, Botox, uh, alternative to Botox in the next couple of weeks. So those are the things that you can use. I am not very much pro-Botox, but I do know a lot of things that you can do alter how to alternate, alternative things that you can do for your neck. Um, now, another thing that you have to be very careful is rough handling of not only of the neck, but also of your face. Things that I do for my neck, I'll talk about it in a little while, but those are the things that you have to be very careful. Uh, let's see here, somebody is. Uh, hello there, Zena from Italy. I'm Italian too, but I, right now I live in Canada. So welcome. Uh, so rough handling. So when I apply a lotion, so I, I'm going to show you some of the things that I do. So I have a lotion here. I apply the moisturizer in that area or oil and I massage. I'm very careful not to rough, rough handle my skin. Another thing that you have to be very careful is that when you apply perfume, try to apply the perfume in the back of your neck or on your um in this area here in their in their wrist because the perfume is high in alcohol and alcohol is uh, very very dehydrating and a lot of times it will cause staining so if you've seen or you know you've noticed that you have stains on your neck most likely you have applied a perfume on your neck then you've gone outside and now the skin is photosensitive which means that you're gonna cause pigmentation and dehydration and irritation on your neck. Now, sleeping. When you sleep, try to, uh, hello, Michael. <laughs> try to, um, island. <laughs> Try to uh, uh, sleep in a, in a position like my bed. I can lift my bed, but I will never have a pillow to cause this type of thing. You have to keep it kind of straight because if you do this, again, you're going to cause wrinkles on, uh, on the neck So and bad posture. If I have bad posture, you will cause more wrinkles. So try to lift always your neck nice and high. No, you're not like this. You're not. You're not a snob, but try to have straight uh, with uh, the position. So shoulders back and your neck up high. 
so you're not going to cause additional wrinkles. Poor diet, yes. I'm going to talk about afterwards poor diet. So if you have, if you eat a lot of junk, junk in, junk out, and it shows on your skin, and also on your neck. Now the neck, we are having more problems on the neck and under the eyes because there is less oils. And so the skin cannot lubricate as well. Uh, so yeah, okay. So you have you are recovering from a, a very serious neck injury, yes. Because we have uh, like the neck is holding on to this big head, so we do need to exercise our neck muscles. And I do have this is a very good uh, uh, question here. We do need to do uh, facial exercising and neck exercising, and I have do have a tutorial on that. So try to. Uh, uh, look at that tutorial, but I will do also a live tutorial on uh, this subject in the near future. If you are a smoker, cut down on smoking because, so that is another thing that you have to be very careful, it's not only for the neck, but also your face. Because if you have, if you smoke, smoking, the nicotine will destroy all your vitamin C. And the vitamin C is so important to hold the collagen together. And that's another thing that I'm gonna talk about in a little while about collagen, to intake collagen, not a collagen injection. I don't believe in that either. Um, don't believe in Botox, don't believe in collagen injections, but that's me, okay? It's more about intaking collagen. So smoking will kill, destroy all your vitamin C and the vitamin C is so important to hold the collagen nice and, uh, um, Height. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, UVR, like a, the UV rays are very damaging, very damaging to uh, uh, the skin. And so, again, I'm not very much with um, uh, uh, to apply high SPFs because high SPF has higher chemicals in that product and those chemicals causes cancer. So what I always encourage individuals is to use mineral makeup or mineral, mineral uh, uh, SPF and that will protect your skin. Now you have to be very careful to get yourself a good mineral uh, um, sun protector because some of them have that white hue and that is not really nice. So you have to find yourself a very good one. Um, Eminence has a good one. Uh, mineral makeup, again, is uh, makeup that will even not your skin tone. And again, it has an SPF of usually 25 to 30 and that also protects your skin. So from here all the way down to your decollete, that's where you want to protect. Um, because the UVR will destroy your um, your collagen, <laughs> your collagen, your elastin, and we want to keep those healthy for the long term. Um, so again, now let me talk about uh, uh, what are the things that you need to uh, increase, and one of the things is uh, to take antioxidants. Now. Antioxidants, they do come in different format and the best ones are food. But if you're aging, you can take a lot of, um, oh, very good question. Can an underactive thyroid gland have an effect on collagen? You know, that's a really good question, Michael. Uh, the thyroid is a very major um, gland that controls all your glands and the, the thyroid is uh, the, your your youth gland and I do have a tutorial on how to stimulate gently your thyroid and that will also help and uh, maybe today if I have time I don't have a very long uh, live stream but I will maybe show you what are the things you can do uh, yes and the thyroid is a youth uh, gland that will cause uh, faster aging okay so we uh, try to keep our skin as young as possible now a lot of people have asked me maria how old are you and i have no problem to say <laughs> i am a 62 and uh feeling good feeling great yes i do have a little bit of wrinkles 
uh, yeah, I do have some wrinkles around my eyes. Yes, but some of the things that I do, it prevent. Yeah, I do have some wrinkles on my upper lip. But what I do, it does help me to slow down the aging process. I want to age gracefully, uh, like Betty White. <laughs> I want to be a Betty White. That the, she, yeah, you could see that she was older, but she kept herself looking so so good. So. Uh, Increase the intake. So some of the things, and I have wrote them down here, so I won't forget. It thinks that you want to intake is dark chocolate. And these things I eat, uh, not every day, but throughout the week. Pecans, yes, always. Uh, blueberries, strawberries, artichokes. Now, I don't like artichokes, but sometimes I push myself to eat artichokes. Go, goji berries, raspberries, kale, red cabbage, beans, beets, spinach, green tea. At nighttime, I intake so much green tea. Uh, Japanese green tea, I, I just enjoy. I just, it's a habit. I do drink coffee in the morning, black coffee. I do intermittent fasting. The people that follow me, they know that. And I do believe with intermittent fasting, it does clean out a lot of the toxins, especially uh, in your brain. Because uh, my family, uh, I have a few individuals that have Alzheimer's. And uh, having Alzheimer's, it's not something I want to do, but with uh, intermittent fasting, you are cleaning not only the toxins in your body, but also the plaque in your brain. And uh, so I am doing uh, intermittent fasting, not only for uh, uh, looking good <laughs> or looking slim, but mainly for prevention of plaque in your brain. Okay, so another thing that you should do before I talked about the things you should not do. Uh, like eating bad, position, poor body posture, spraying perfumes, and yada, yada. So you can go back and look at it, what you should not do. Now, number two is intake a lot of vitamin C. Not only in the pill format, but also, yes, uh, vitamin B, thiamine, yes, it does help with uh, Alzheimer's. Thank you. Yes. Um, so vitamin C. See, rosehip tea, chili peppers. I'm going to write that so I don't forget any yellow peppers. I like the red peppers. Blackcurrant, thymes, parsley, kale, kiwi, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, lemons, papaya, strawberry, uh, oranges, you know, grapefruit, uh, papaya. There's some of all the things that you can intake. Okay. I lost my notes. I have to have all my notes here. <laughs> Okay, now, as I mentioned before, uh, things that you do need to do is avoid direct sun. I am Italian, and I should be supposed to be in the sun, but somehow I inherited really far, fair skin, so I'm rarely in the sun. I always have my hats. I do have, I use uh, mineral makeup, okay, which has SPF. Now, right now, I have nothing on my skin. Um, I don't like foundation, uh, so... I try to apply a little bit of mineral um, makeup when I go outside to protect my skin. Because again, the sun is good for you, but too much is not good. Uh, so avoid, and when you do your SPF, try not to go higher than uh, 30 SPF and try to have mineral. Now, if you don't like the mineral SPF, uh, maybe apply 15 uh, regularly when you are outside. Now, collagen, yes, we need to have collagen, not only in the food format. So uh, collagen, uh, one of the best is broth, you know, bone broth, but it <laughs> when you uh, cook a bone broth, oh my goodness, it tastes so-so, uh, and uh, also the smell in your house. But I do have regularly like a beef bone broth and I boil it for several hours so then there's a lot of collagen in that but also the things that you need to do which is high and if you don't like to do bone broth is um, kiwi berries almonds avocado carrots uh, all the dark green vegetables and those are very good also in for phytochemicals to keep your skin and body healthy phytochemicals garlic Oysters, like I never liked oysters. This is like a pumpkin seeds. I always have that in uh, in my salads. A lot, all different types of seeds in my salad from my sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, all that. Tomatoes and liquid collagen. 
I do have a, uh, a tutorial on liquid collagen. Okay, so I have a good skin according to my dermatologist. Uh, I had urticaria all my childhood and acne all my teens. Do you still have acne? And what kind of acne? Is that the normal acne like the bacterial or the fungal acne? So I do have mm, several tutorials on fungal acne and also normal acne. And you have food allergies. <laughs> I just sorry, but it's okay. It's a blessing in disguise. So when you have allergies, you are just a lot more careful. Like my daughters have. Uh, one of them have allergies, uh, tons of them. So that means that she's always been very careful what she puts in in her mouth. She always checks, you know, in the back of the product, if she puts on her skin, hormonal acne. Okay, hormonal and acne. Uh, so there's a bacterial. I do have a tutorial on that. Please search for it. If you cannot find it, let me know. So I will send you a link. And another thing that you can do is to use high frequency current that that will help you. And I have a two or three tutorials on high frequency. Okay, so liquid collagen, my favorite one. There's, there is a powder, there is in tablet forms, but the best is liquid collagen. And I do, I use this one here. I tried different ones. And this one here is the one that I've seen a lot of results. Uh, because, I, you know, as I mentioned, I am past the 60 mark, but my skin, I don't wear any makeup. I do have a, one little age spot here, little, little one, but I don't wear anything on my skin the only thing i have is a little bit of a gel on my eyebrows otherwise they go down the mascara and a little bit of gloss on my lips i have to deal i have to say that liquid color now you don't have to take this one but this is the one that i like yes it's a little bit more expensive than normal yes but i'd rather take this every second day and seeing results and having something every day and i don't see results so that's what I do see results. Okay, now collagen. And this is a collagen activator. And I do have three tutorials on collagen. So please look at those uh, tutorials. Omegas, yes. Omegas are so good for your skin. Not only for the collagen, but also for the lubrication. Now, some of the things that you can eat, olives olive oil like uh, i'm italian so i eat a lot of that stuff uh not salmon in canada we have salmon so i usually have salmon two three times a week sardines uh, <laughs> like sardines. flaxseed yes flaxseed i take that hemp seeds grapeseed oil i cook with grapeseed oil kale spinach dark green leafy, leafy vegetables um Yes, so those things. And again, if you eat well, you're going to have a nice skin. If you eat junk, now don't get me wrong. I do eat junk sometimes too. Where do I go? Sometimes I have burgers. I like fries. I like a good burger with mushrooms on it. Yes. <laughs> and then I eat a little bit of the bun, but I usually try not to eat all the buns. Okay, so try to have fish. The omega-6 is so important for not only for your neck, but also for your skin. Massage your thyroid. Uh, Michael, uh, yes, to go back to you, massage your thyroid. So I usually take a couple of drops and uh, I uh, put a, a cream and then I massage my thyroid. Usually do it two, three minutes every night and i do have a tutorial on that the benefits of massaging your thyroid but it's not only to massage your thyroid it's also massaging and stimulating the blood circulation now another thing to bring blood so you have to kind of bring the blood see it's going red here now is by doing it vacuum i have one a tutorial on how to bring to do the lymph drainage on your neck and that is good i don't have it here i have to go to the bathroom but and you just massage with a little uh, uh, vacuum to go up and down to bring the blood to the surface so you nourish the skin. So go back to uh, the, uh, 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 the thyroid massage. So with this thumb, I massage this lobe and I go back and forth. And then with this thumb, I massage this lobe and I go back and forth. And then I go up and down like this. And then like this. Another way you can do it is just go like this 
and you go all the way back and all the way back. And so you see how red my neck is now? That's what you want to bring. So you want to have a good oil. So the one that I'm using is from Eminence, a Rosehip Triple C firming oil. I've always liked this and I use it and uh, it does really help uh, my neck. And how often I do it? I do that every night. I also do um, not only uh, um, that, but I also do tapotment uh, like that and like that. And I have a tutorial on that. And I go all the way down. I'm not going to do it now because it sounds too loud. Down to my neck, on my thymus, around and about. This is how loud. By doing this, you're stimulating not only the blood circulation, see how it's going red, but also you're stimulating the collagen and the, the elastin, and that will keep your uh, skin nice and firm. You say, oh my, my goodness, Marie, are you doing all those things every day? No, I alternate. Sometimes I do microneedling. Uh, don't do microneedling every day or every week. I would say once a month, the most uh, twice a month all over your face and then you concentrate on your neck high quality creams i rather use something a little bit of good than tons of garbage yes that's me um so the one that i use is uh the uh, true science nrf2 activators the NRF2 activator, what it does, it activates, it goes into the skin and activates, rejuvenates the skin. Don't have to use that. That's what I'm using. And so what it does, it rejuvenates the skin from within. So using good, high quality. Uh, now, some people like to use uh, retinols or re retinase. They're peels. And what they do, if you use stuff like that, be very careful when you go in the sun. And don't use it. Uh, yes, Michael, chia seeds. <laughs> I have a tutorial on that. Chia seeds are really good. Um, and um, yes, I usually put it uh, in the morning, put it into the kefir. And uh, I, and then I um, let, let it soak for a while. And then I do have my chia seeds with kefir and I drink it down around noontime. I really, really enjoy that. Uh, That's really high in omega. Thank you. Uh, okay, so a gl good glycolic. Okay, how often? Not often. So you do all different things for your body. Okay, different things uh, that are, are good for your body and you kind of alternate them. Hyaluronic acid, yes. Uh, if you like to do peptides, vitamin C, glycolic acid, uh, BHAs if you're more oily. So those are different things. Do them, like uh, you alternate things. Don't do everything at once because uh, you will destroy the um, skin barrier of your skin. Too much doesn't mean that it's good. I always say less is better, okay? Less is better. And uh, yes, I'm going to, uh, some people are wanting to have the information on uh, uh, the collagen and the skincare. Yes, I'm going to put uh, all the links below. And so you can look at them later. Um, I want to focus, but I do have this information and I will send it uh, underneath in the, in the description box after we are done. Um, okay, so lift drainage. I have a tutorial on that. So basically you want to drain the lymph you can do in your face don't only concentrate your neck okay um you just wanted to put it uh, uh lymph drainage throughout your face because your face is part of your neck your neck is part of your face so you need to work them together don't forget ever forget your neck so if you do uh, things like tapotment petrissage de jaquette so pet i'm going to do here so you can see it better. So petrissage is basically are like a little pinching like this. Can you see that? Uh, pinching, 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 pinching. Okay. So you want to do a little pinching. So what you're doing, you are stimulating it. See, you're stimulating the blood and you're stimulating the fibroblast, the fibroblast in your skin. So you want to do this also on your neck. So if I'm doing microneedling, I'm not going to do the petrissage de jaquette or the uh, lymph drainage or, or the vacuum. Those are all the things that I alternate. Can you imagine if I do everything every night? 
<laughs> Two hours later, my husband would say, what are you doing? Uh, yes, your salt lamp. Yes, Michael, that is amazing. It really brings uh, your ions in, in your uh, environment, negative ions, and it just gives you peace. So yes, that is very good, Michael. Um, facial muscle exercising. But now we're focusing on the neck, but facial muscle exercising and the neck exercising is so important. So I'm going to do, a, okay, I'll do two of them. So one that's really important that you are stretching. Okay, this doesn't look very good. Okay, but you're stretching like this. Uh-huh, like this. This is the platysma. Do I look nice? <laughs> okay. Then you want to stretch the sternocleidomastoid this way and then this way. Okay, like this. I don't look nice. I know, but it's okay. I usually do this privately. <laughs> and another one, that's a nice stretching. And now you're doing contraction. So you're going to put your hands like this and you push down. Okay. You push down. So what you're doing, you are strengthening the muscles. So you're not only doing this stuff on your skin and your collagen and your elastin, but you're also exercising the muscles. If you exercise the muscle underneath, you pump up the muscles. And then for the individuals that had a car accident, you are going to strengthen. Now, the person that had a car accident, okay, you want to do here, but also you want to exercise the sides and then the back. So if I want to exercise the back, I, I push like this and I'm strengthening all the muscle back. So I, I push my head this way and I push my hand this way. Okay, so you're strengthening the muscle here. If you want to strengthen the muscle this way, you I push my hand that, oh, sorry, this way <laughs> and my head the other way, okay? Okay, so my head that way. Sorry, it's backwards. So I'm going to push my head this way and my hand is pushing against it. And then the other side. And then from the back. And then from the front. So you're exercising all the muscles all the way around. So don't focus only in the front, the person that had the, the uh, accident, you, but that's done gently. As your muscles are strengthening, then slowly you will... Uh, start feeling much better with your neck and your posture is going to be much better. Okay. Face allergy swelling. Will that loosen the skin in old age? I really feel that if you are taking care of your, your diet and you're doing the basic things that I just mentioned, your skin will keep as best as possible for your age. Okay, so uh, any other questions before I leave you guys? Uh, okay, we're, we're spending 28 minutes, almost 29 minutes. I really enjoy uh, these uh, uh, live streams. I've done, uh, I think, three this is my third one and uh i would love to um uh, hear from you guys i'm very uh even with my youtubes um i do like to reply to everyone and uh and one thing that i want to mention getting old is not bad you know a lot of times individuals are like say oh my god i'm getting old it is a, a uh, what's the word a a privilege i am privileged to be 62 you know uh, a, a lot of individuals like they don't want to age why not age gracefully age with health take the best things that you can intake from food to exercise and also uh having a, a good attitude and faith whatever you believe in uh that you have faith okay that god or whatever you believe in is amazing. And God is always, always in control. Anyways, um, I'm going to try to do uh, these tutorials on weekends, either Saturday or Sunday. And uh, I'm 65 years young. 
<laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, good, good. And uh, let's age gracefully. I'm going to be here at uh, around 62, 72, 82. <laughs> and try to be, look, I just put braces on uh, about three months ago. Yeah. And uh, somebody said to me, oh, my God, yes. why, why having uh, braces at your age? Because I want to keep my teeth. <laughs> and uh, I had braces when I was older. Uh, and I'm um, oh, sorry, when I was younger, uh, in my early teens. And uh, then, you know, we're talking about in the 70s, they did not have retainers. So my teeth started to move back to what they were. So now I put uh, these, uh, um, these braces and I'm having some difficulties in uh, moving around with this. Uh, white. But I have white ones, so you don't notice them as much. But uh, yes, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm a teenager again. So thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And uh, let's keep on, yes, stunning silver. Keep improving always. Be happy. Yes, the attitude of always being happy, it's important. Take care, and uh, I will uh, talk with you next week.